Bunch of Wildcat last week against Cal. And Barnes looks his direction. It is Vaki out of the backfield. Sione Vaki. Same concept, a vertical challenge. This time he nailed it, and Vaki took it the distance. This one a moment. But even worse is he loses leverage. Vaki goes right behind him. It will be an expanded package for Vaki tonight. And it has been expansive in the first. Might be rather high tonight for Caleb Williams. It is a handoff for Austin Jones on first down, and he drives for him. Veteran secondary. This side, Zachariah Branch, the explosive ilt. Third down defense in the nation. Caleb Williams laterally got a block from Rice, and it was legal again. Mess with it. You have to be controlled when you rush him, though. And here is a handoff. Broke free, and he scores he got by Richie for about seven and a half yards a carry for Lloyd this year replacing Travis Dye in the U for linemen and wide receivers it's a handoff it's Jackson and the run game has been thunderous for both teams so far he's nearing 700 pounds <laughs> 660 pounds but they move and look at Laumea just he, once he gets his they also have 59 career starts. This is Vaki, and he went laterally. He, he just went into the slot, and there's going to be a marker coming in. I think that's the young center making a Third and nine for Bryson Barnes. Pressure right in his face. He rolls to his right and drops it off, and it's dropped by... And SC gets itself off the field. Jack Bowmeister has been given fair catch. Branch put it on the ground. Who's at the front of this rivalry, the offense for USC and the defense for Utah as Marshawn Lloyd gets the care. But Caleb does best. Rice with the catch on the screen. He is to pick it up and throw that bubble anytime he wants. USC running tempo. This is Lake McCree, the tight end, and he Utah is set on second and ten. Yeah, it's a run. It's Lloyd, another gas. The mix in that run. Lloyd again. You know, we asked Lincoln Riley. It's a play. Middle of the field. Oh, Taj Washington. Oh, wow. Needed a telescope. Williams breaks it down against Ellis for USC. It's a pitch. It's Branch and misdirection for six. They're in a lot more productive than seven days ago in South Bend. You know how you score against the best third down defense in the country? This is different than what we saw last week in South Bend. And Lincoln Riley knew the opportunity here. He said it's a total moonshot. Down to the one yard line. And, my and he is across the. Bryson Barnes back to the steering wheel for Utah. His throw to the far side is to Merlin. They don't have the same depth at the tight end position this time around, so it's going to have to be the receiver. Jackson is in right now. Third and four handoff. It's stonewalled, and it gets a back. Baki scored on the wheel earlier. He walks up to the line, and it is toward Baki. He's in space. He's got the first down. 70 snaps in the game. Barnes play action. He uncorks near side, and that is way too long. He's coming into tonight. Second down, it's Jackson off the left side. Again a gash, and he hops inside the 15. Your free tackler, Bullock's got to be the eraser, and he's wide in, and there's nobody home. He's there with Glover. It's a high snap for Baki on the Wildcat. There's a marker in, and the question is, were they lined up? Him with a rugby player as Matthews in motion. It's Glover, and he has a seam to the 10-yard line. That's for East Arizona. King in motion. This is Bryson Barnes right up the middle for a touchdown. Utah, Lincoln Riley, coordinator, head coach, play caller. These guys are putting on a show in the first quarter. I love the matchup, too. You got Bryson Barnes was injured. He's got them in most recently as Zachariah Branch awaits. And this should give him an opportunity to return. The line did not have to worry about that run game. You see the deep shot to Washington, and then well, we watched that walk through yesterday. They uh, snap it, and he didn't. Did Lincoln Riley get a timeout? Yes, he did. He was over on the far side, First but the official. Timeout. 11 sacks in two games combined last year of Caleb Williams, and he darts up the middle. 
They bracket him and drop him after a game. It's like any time a defense gets a stop, <laughs> it's a big deal in this matchup. I feel like confetti should fall from the sky as Matthews a fair catch. First time for the second quarter for Utah and to Quinden Jackson for a couple of yards. To work hard at that rehab, I asked him if he had any advice for Barnes tonight. He said, go be a Trojan killer. Ooh, how about that? Camera for Utah. Can they run it third and five? It's a throw. It's down the middle and Vele. Last year. Barnes loads a time. Now it collapses. And down he goes. Romello. 60 tackles for loss or so, including tonight. And there's one more. Dejon Benton. I love it. We love the beach and geography. It's a run, and they'll get a chunk of it with Jackson. Thank goodness. Apology accepted. Bo Meester. This QB running back threat is runners. Blowed it out for Lloyd out of the backfield. He put it on the ground. That's a live foot. Here comes Ellis. Williams cuts it wide, and he's got spot. Not a whole lot of pressure to speak of so far against the pass game. They're rolling this as well. Out for the first half. Fillinger, that is the perfect rush. Caleb Williams, clean pocket, pats the ball over the middle, incomplete. That space, don't run to cover yourself, the freshman just did. That's a highly athletic, true for any of us. First down, Bryson Barnes handing off to Vaki, and a sharp cut gets him about three yards. Down step. Uh, truly amazing, and this is after he had been in a couple of Rose Bowls. He felt the heat there, and he slung it anyway for Vaki. And Sione Vaki. That he's had in big moments. Both tailbacks in. It's a run for Jackson, and he gets a couple extra yards after contusion. Play action. Barnes near side. Bele with one hand. And now Jackson in motion. Fake it to him. Straight up the middle. And it is a wall. Maybe take a field goal. But in a game like this, when touchdowns have happened with great regularity, they did not last time as McCree, the tight end, catches. And Remember Clark Phillips. His final year last year for Utah. The great cornerback, Caleb Williams. Williams to Rice. And he is met and slung down. Maya Vaughn and Miles Battle, these, these corners, they'll hit you and tackle you. No surprise. They'll get the tremendous All-American safety in the second half as a flag comes in. Within a game, they're sort of like nesting dolls. USC and Utah together. Caleb Williams catapults it wide for Branch. And it's a movement at the line and a free play for Caleb Williams. And that is treacherous. Down the sideline, it's intercepted. Yeah, but that head is still in the neutral zone. Caleb saw the flag go up. Nice to have Connor. Sling it out wide. Washington, after the big catch earlier, he has wrestled down. Man. Chaplitsky to punt. Trying to pin Utah deep, and this one goes sailing and checks up. But oh, he had the three interceptions last time. Bryson Barnes off play action. Pressure was coming. He flips it out right down the middle. Walk on. Hooking up for the first down. Jackson is somersaulted for a one yard <laughs> game. Roland Wallace to tackle. Vaki to take the Wildcat snap. He tucks it. He runs. He's behind Jackson and he darts inside. Now it's Jackson to take the snap. He hands it for Vaki and Sione Vaki. Five years ago. Now they moved him out of the shotgun snap, and that didn't look very good at all. It was Jackson at Jackson next to him. And he pulled it late. Ball is still loose. Alexander. Two timeouts for USC. It's Barnes on the run, and he's collapsed on by Jamil Muhammad, the transfer from Georgia 